Your Excellency, President Nana Akufo Addo, the Honorable Minister of Business Development, Muhammad Awal. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, I'm honored to be addressing you on behalf of the International Chamber of Commerce for the launch of the For Better Business Together program. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that it is more important than ever for the public and private sector to collaborate at both international and national level to enable businesses and the people they employ to ride out the pandemic and to emerge more resilient and sustainable to face the future. The For Better Business Together program is a concrete example of the potential of public-private collaboration to have a real impact on the ground. I would like to warmly congratulate the Ministry of Business Development, our colleagues in ICC Ghana and our international partners, the UN Development Programme and the Business for Peace Foundation on this exciting new initiative which promises to help businesses in Ghana move forward on a more sustainable and resilient path. Friends, as you know, ICC is the institutional representative of over 45 million companies in more than 100 countries. Our purpose is to enable business to promote peace, prosperity and opportunity for all. In line with this, we have been working intensely with partners worldwide, international organisation, companies, business association and other institutions to turn our global reach into practical action at regional and country level to support businesses and to protect the lives and livelihoods of the people who rely on them. Africa is no exception. ICC's unprecedented mobilisation of its network in sub-Saharan Africa has resulted in engagement by more than 180 chambers in 47 African countries to tackle COVID-19. Our regional action network for Africa has identified several priority areas for action. Infrastructure, job creation and entrepreneurship, education, implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, building a macroeconomic framework that attracts investors, agribusiness and food security, tourism and e-commerce. And with e-commerce, ICC is committed to helping digitise 5 million small businesses globally, including and importantly in Africa. Another priority identified by our African regional network is to embrace more fully the opportunities offered by international and development organisations. The Recover Better Together COVID-19 private sector global facility initiated by ICC and the UN Development Programme presents such an opportunity. This public-private sector collaboration was launched during last month's United Nations General Assembly. It aims to help countries build back better, in fact, to build forward better from the effects of the pandemic by co-creating solutions that are tailored to the situation of each country and the needs of the real economy while aligning with the Sustainable Development Goals. The selection of Ghana as one of the pilot countries for this facility is testimony to Ghana's potential and dynamism, and we look forward to working with our international and Ghanaian partners to implement the vision of the facility on the ground. The aims of the four BBT program to support economic recovery, nurture entrepreneurship and strengthen the sustainability and resilience of businesses for the future are very much aligned with ICC's own purpose and mission. Realigning investment flows towards economic activity that supports the Sustainable Development Goals will be essential to achieve this. I therefore very much welcome the program's plans to leverage the UNDP SDG investment maps and investor networks for this purpose and I'm honoured to serve on the advisory board of that group. We are also very excited to be working with ICC Ghana under the 4BBT program to explore how we can create an ICC Centre for Entrepreneurship in Ghana to help catalyse local entrepreneurship and jobs for the future. We want to help build meaningful livelihoods for all your citizens. Ghana was ranked by the IMF as one of the 10 fastest growing economies on the African continent and its entrepreneurship ecosystem and startup culture has seen remarkable growth over recent years. However, the pandemic has curtailed many business and employment opportunities for so many. With 57% of the population of Ghana under the age of 25, creating economic opportunities for young, adult, uh, young adults will be essential. We hope that the development of a centre of an entrepreneurship an ICC Centre for Entrepreneurship in Ghana, our first hub in Africa, will bolster economic opportunities through job creation and entrepreneurship, which will give this crucial younger generation a better foundation for the future. 
for BBT's third component, supporting SMEs and integrating informal businesses into the formal economy, spotlights the essential role played by smaller businesses. Friends, 90%, 90% of registered businesses in Ghana are SMEs and micro SMEs. And these business entities contribute an estimated 70%, that's 70% of Ghana's GDP. As in Ghana, small and medium-sized enterprises are the backbone of almost all economies in the world. We recognise that a failure to protect small businesses and their workers could com compound the spread of the virus and its devastating consequence. In this context, we have been highlighting the urgent need to support SMEs, to save our SMEs during the current crisis. Through our global Save Our SME campaign, with partners worldwide, we continue to make the business case for enhanced international cooperation on debt, emergency financing and access to vaccines to combat COVID-19. Together, we can. Your Excellency, Honourable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, friends, I thank you for the opportunity to participate through the power of this technology in the launch of this important initiative. And I wish you all success for your efforts to work for better business together. Thank you.